Howdy and welcome back. So we'll go ahead and finish off this lesson with um, just a short uh, video on some additional considerations. What does that mean? Well, let's go ahead and I guess get into it. So here are a couple of questions you might have. Does the stat grow up or down? For instance, I'll scroll all the way back up here. In our memory, that's been allocated to our program is this location zero or is this location zero? If where the stack begins in memory is address say zero within this chunk of memory that was allocated to us, we would say that the stack grows up because we can see here that, okay, the address, the value, the address essentially would increase. And let's say this is like 10, 24, something. Likewise, in the case here, where the stack is allocated at the highest address within our memory space, we would say the stack grows downward because each time we add something to the address, or sorry, to the stack, the address to that activation record or in other words, that stored within stack pointer is going to be a lower value. So it might be say 10, 34. Notice the descending values as we move from the stack to code versus if the stack were to grow up, the increasing um, value for the address in terms of where a particular activation record begins. And then with each time a record is pushed, if the stack's growing up, we'd expect the address to that activation record to increase. If the stack's growing down, uh, the address to that would decrease. So that's what I'm getting at there. So again, that is if function main calls function factorial, will the address stored by stack pointer for factorial be greater or less than that of mains? And this can go either way, though downwards is going to be the most um, common. Next question you might have is, okay, so we have this thing called an activation record. How are the parameters and variables of a function laid out within that activation record? Well, this is going to be unspecified and unpredictable. Unpredictable. The compiler is essentially going to be allowed to do what it thinks is most sensible. So the actual composition of an individual activation record, how say the local variables and the um, parameters are going to be laid out within that record will be up to the compiler. So this concludes our uh, introduction to the stack. We'll get into a bit of its uh, limitations tomorrow, and then we'll finally arrive at um, dynamic memory a couple days thereafter. Alrighty, take care.